Hi, I'm archivist Clara Snyder, and welcome to another edition of Nimitz Minutes. Today, we'll be discussing the most common roles and responsibilities women had at home during World War II. Even though many women in America took the opportunity to work in the armed forces, most women continued their duties at home as wives and homemakers. A homemaker is any person that maintains the upkeep of their home, cares for family, or performs daily chores. Although this work might not sound exciting, it was extremely important for the war effort and not as easy as it seems, especially with the added stress of rationing, having loved ones overseas, and taking on extra responsibility like volunteering in their community or having a job. Could you imagine cleaning a house without a vacuum cleaner? Or baking cookies without sugar? During World War II, homemakers had to do most chores by hand and make do without a lot of basic goods. Cleaning included doing the laundry, washing the dishes, floors, and windows, and taking care of the yard. Today, many households have automatic appliances like washing machines and vacuum cleaners, but in the 1940s, women were still tackling these tasks by hand, and that took a lot of time and energy. Cooking included shopping for groceries, cooking daily meals, and preparing meals in advance, like lunches for spouses or children. This task became more complicated as food came into short supply and had to be rationed. Processed and canned food was set aside to be shipped long distances overseas to the front lines in Europe and in the Pacific. Gas and tires were also in short supply, and priority for transport was given to troops, and not for fresh food like meat and butter. Lastly, sugar and coffee can no longer be imported, and sugar was the first and longest food to be rationed. By 1943, butter, sugar, coffee, meats, and cheeses were rationed, along with other goods like oil, gas, rubber, zippers, shoes, nylons, and much more. The only way to get these ration goods was through ration cards or tokens, kind of like this. Ration booklets were filled with stamps, kind of like tickets you get at a fair, and different rationed items took a different amount of stamps to buy. Along with rationing, people were encouraged to make do and mend. Have you ever had a shirt or a pair of pants that had a hole in it and you didn't know what to do? Make Do and Mend was a campaign to encourage and teach the public how to make their clothes and fabric last as long as possible. This could be done by patching and mending holes, or taking old pieces of clothing and making it into something new. For example, old sweaters could be unpicked and re-knitted into something new, like scarves or mittens. Homemakers were the center of the family. They provided physical care and emotional support to children, family members, and especially those men and women serving overseas. Did you know that over the course of the war, billions of letters were sent to and from servicemen and women? Letters were one of the only forms of communication between them and their families. Homemakers spent a lot of time writing to their loved ones overseas to maintain relationships and to keep up the spirits of those on the front lines. This morale was essential to keep everyone motivated to work and fight for victory. Now, think about what happens around your own home and the kinds of responsibilities that you and your family members carry. How do those compare to the responsibilities of homemakers in World War II? Do you think you could do your chores by hand or make an old item of clothing into something new? How about writing letters to friends or family members? Give it a try and join us for the next episode of Nimitz Minutes.